So I'm not too sure if any of you guys saw this, but recently, Cal Toomey just released his updated 2024 AFL Phantom Form Guide of the Draft, where he ranks from 1 to 30 the best and most potential exciting players in, obviously, the draft. He's not ranking them on where he thinks they will, you know, be picked at by the team. Like, obviously, I think he's got Ashcroft at, like, one, and I don't think Richmond are going to be picking Ashcroft at one. I'm pretty sure Brisbane are going to be matching him. But again, he's going based off who he thinks is, you know, the best, the most potential, all of the above. And I thought, you know what, it'd be, it'd be interesting if I just, you know, got the microphone out and went over my thoughts and opinions on this with you guys, where I disagree with him and kind of just review it together. I'm extremely interested to see. Again, before we do get into all of that, if you haven't already, uh, please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. There's still a decent amount of you guys who watch this video who are not subscribed. So, you know, do, do me a favor and be a cutie patootie and leave a like and subscribe. And I don't know, comment calling me a cutie patootie. I don't know. But I guess without further ado, let's just get straight into it. All right, so starting off with the first overall pick, he's got Levi Ashcroft, the 179 centimeter uh, inside midfielder from Sandringham. You know, talking about how he just dominated all of the above. I mean, we kind of, we kind of all know that Ashcroft is he's the, he's the best player in the draft class, right? That's that's no real secret. Uh, but if we scroll down at number two, he's got Finn O'Sullivan. So if Richmond were potentially looking for who the best player is in the draft, most potential, most upside, all of the above, outside of Ashcroft, who we know they can't take. I mean, yeah, it looks like they'd they'd probably be going with Finn O'Sullivan here, who's a 182 centimeter inside midfielder. Again, I think if it says here, yeah, he was second in the running cool, running vertical jump, 93 centimeters. Man, I couldn't even jump to off the couch half the time to go get myself a Cornetto or something. I'm that fat. Finn O'Sullivan is doing that shit. I don't know how he's doing it. Again, at number three. We've got Harvey Langford, the 190 centimeter midfielder. All pretty stock standard. And then nine, number four, Sam Law, the guy who, I mean, yeah, this is the new projected pick number one to Richmond. This guy was like number eight ranked previously, and he's just completely jumped up to, to number four now. And I think he'll probably go number one at this rate, 187 centimeter midfielder who... Again, he's called a fending off midfielder because he's literally compared to Dustin Martin. He's the closest thing I've seen to Dustin Martin since Jesus Christ. So, yeah, I, I do I do think Richmond will take him at one. And he's moved up to number four now on Cal Toomey's list. And number five, he's got Jagger Smith. I mean, arguably the best player in this draft. I think a lot of people would have him as uh, the best. Number six, he's got Murphy Reed. Seven, Sid Draper. Sid Draper, maybe, a, is he a little low? Again, he might be better than seven. Smiley, a guy who was ranked at number one at one stage as well. He's got at number eight. And then Alex Taru, moving all the way to number nine. I think this guy was at one stage ranked like 25 or something, and he's just moved up. He started off as like, I think, a half back, then became a like a, a fourth tall who can do it all. Even played some forward. My mate who's in the Stingrays had to play on him when he went up forward and said he was really good up there too. The guy's crazy. Uh, Harry Armstrong, the best key forward in the draft at number 10. Toby Travaglia, is that how you say his name? I'm not going to lie. I don't know a whole lot about this guy. And I almost feel like I need to do more research about him because... I, I literally just do not know. And I don't know enough about this guy. And it's kind of sad. Scrolling down, Bo Allen at 12. I've, I've heard his name start to come up way more as well. Again, he, he did really good in the combine. It does look like too. He played a lot better. You can see him there running his guts off. 92 centimeter running vertical jump. Uh, his standing vertical jump was 72 centimeters. Yeah, this is a this is one of those guys who dominated the combine and has really moved up in the draft. 
Uh, Leo Lombard as well, another guy who really dominated in the combine. Fifth fastest in history uh, with the agility test. I mean, yeah, this guy, is, this guy is an absolute freak of nature. And he's going to go to the Gold Coast Suns, which really hurts my feelings. No, the Tigers can't even, can't even look at this bloke. Uh, Isaac Keiko as well. Yeah, at 14 is probably about right. The only issue that I, I have is, is he 175 centimeters like people say he is? Because I think I'm 173 centimeters and I have like, I've stood next to like Nick Watson and I'm pretty sure he's listed at the same height and I'm pretty sure I'm about that much taller than Nick Watson. So are they lying about these the small forward height? Probably, we'll see how he goes in the AFL, but so he'll, he'll go there. Uh, Taj Houghton as well. Another Sandringham player. They really just dominated this draft, man. Xavier Lindsay. This is a guy who I think could probably even go higher in the draft. We'll definitely have to wait and see uh, what, how teams think about Xavier Lindsay again. I think on my mock draft, I've got him going to Richmond, which will be coming out later on. Obviously, you guys will get to will get to see that. Um, but he's going to be interesting to see where he does go and if he will slide down and be what he is now or if he will rise up but he's there at 16 luke trainer at 17 as well i think a team is going to need a key defender he'll definitely go up i, I can see that joe berry as well if a team needs a small forward he's going to go up he's a guy i think richmond will look at at 10 and 11. uh jack whitlock another guy richmond will look at so many teams will look at this guy 207 200 centimeter key forward Holy shit, sit on my face. Am I legally allowed to say that? Yes, he's over 18. Yeah, I mean, holy shit. I, I think he'll go high too. Same with Job Shanahan. I don't know if he will stay this low. Another really good tall forward. Who kicked like five for Essendon in the VFL. Cooper Hines may drop at this rate. 21 he's at now. 190 centimeters. I didn't know he was that tall. A midfielder slash forward. Uh, Sam Marshall, I don't know much about. Oh, no, wait. No, he's the Brisbane guy. Yeah, no, no, no. I do know a lot about this guy. This is the guy that is tied to Brisbane. He plays for Sandringham, but is tied to Brisbane. What the fuck? <laughs> Someone help out with that. I don't know. Uh, Matt Willock as well, the brother, who is a centimeter shorter than, than Jack. Ah, he's also a defender, but I think he played key forward a lot this year. Detoli, don't know much about him. Neither on John T. Oh, is he 195 centimeter? Another tall forward. Holy crap. Harry Oliver. Oh my God. Another Sandringham product. How many players does Sandringham want? Tom Gross is a really good wing uh, in this draft. I think uh, teams will be looking at him where he goes will also be an interesting thing. And then we got Oliver Hannaford, a greater Western Victoria player. Uh, Alex Dodson, a guy from South Australia and Sturt. And Christian Moraes. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Oh, and my future wife, the beautiful Monique Conti. So yeah, that's the 2024 indecisive draft order. For the most part, I agree with it. It's it's what we've been hearing. I do think Shanahan and Barry will probably go higher than 20 and 18, though. Uh, Xavier, Xavier Lindsay could go higher as well. There will definitely be someone in that top 10 who may drop. Who that is, we'll have to definitely wait and see come draft time. Could it be a Josh Smiley who's just been continuously dropping? I really don't know. But I'm very interested to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this mock draft or indecisive phantom form guide or whatever by Calm to me down below. I'd very much like to hear all your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash long channels. Links for that will be in the description down below. And I guess we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.